Hello and welcome to a very, very, very short episode of Coop's Tube. Today I'll be demonstrating how the ILS function on a runway works. Basically, let's start off with the localizer. Um, it guides the plane in using the left and right, and they have a small beacon, well, quite a large beacon actually, called the localizer aerial at the end of the runway, and that sprays out a signal, um, one that's 90 hertz and one that's 50 hertz. And the 50 hertz would go to the left, and the 90 hertz might go to the right. Basically, this tells the plane, when it's um, hooked onto a certain frequency, that it's supposed to get exactly that frequency that it's been um, told to get to. If it's slightly higher or slightly lower, then it's um, on the wrong course. And the same thing goes for the um, the glide slope area. The only difference is that the higher the frequency, then the uh, lower you are, and the lower the frequency, the higher you are. Yeah, I think I've got that right. And it also works so that the glide slope, which is this line demonstrated here, um, will hit 50 feet, so your landing gear should be 50 feet above the ground when the runway officially starts. Um, so as you might have seen in one of my London Heathrow videos, uh, even though we're over the tarmac, it's not actually the official runway, it's where the, um, all the white lines start. And the glide slope arrow does stick up a bit, obviously not that, that is over emphasised because of the picture. And that's basically it, so thank you for watching this short uh, video tutorial on um, how ILS works. See you next time. Goodbye.